The plans are for towering wind turbines in the air and solar panels on the ground, with a convenient battery storage area nearby. But the community in Duns fears it's the wrong location, and the negatives of this energy park outweigh the positives. This development is on a very open landscape. We think the 200 metre turbines are far too big for this uh, location. You'll see them as far away as well into England and into Berwick. Uh, and we think that this is inappropriate for this location. Proposals for the energy park are not new. Fred Olson Renewables have been consulting on the plan since 2022. And they say they have reduced the number of turbines following feedback. It's not enough, though, for the members of the Lees Hill Save Our Skyline group, who organised a public meeting in Duns last night. I think that they do enormous damage to communities. They're very divisive, they're non-productive, and they are uh, a, a seriously heavy charge on ordinary people. There are far better ways to produce energy. In a statement, Fred Olson Renewable says... The proposals for the Lees Hill Renewable Energy Park underwent several design iterations. The final plans that we submitted contained reduced turbine numbers and a smaller area for solar panels, reflecting comments that we've received. These proposals were submitted to the Scottish Government's Energy Consent Unit earlier this year, with the Scottish Borders Council also consulting on the plans. They're currently open to feedback. At the meeting last night, organisers urged those attending to make their voices heard. There's obviously a number of people in the area, quite a lot of people in the area, who are supportive of the green energy um, direction. This isn't about green energy, this is about this particular site and this particular location. Many people attended last night objecting to the proposed energy park, but the Scottish Government has received letters of support for it. Duns is not alone in the tug of war that surrounds wind farms, one side fighting for clean renewable energy, the other not wanting giant turbines on their doorstep. Isla Todd, ITV News, Duns.